all right thank you once again for joining us today at Motoka tv studio all right today we'll be showing to you in our studio the god servant apostle arumi osai on the only reason i avoid some gospel music ministers wow this clip really blesses my life so much all right over to you sir i know you have a pastor but you need to learn how to hear jesus there's so many specific things that pertain to your calling pertain to your ministry pertain to the workings of the grace that god has made available to you that your pastor can never know it will be a product of your intimacy with jesus christ and jesus began to tell me that if you if you are teaching because the teaching anointing is very domineering it's very possessive and when you begin to teach you don't remember any other thing but he said if you want to migrate from the teaching office you want to migrate into the prophetic office so that your hearing and your sight can open up he told me what to do he said he said get a misrael and let the person begin to play softly when the misrael begins to play you'll be at, at first you'll be hearing the sound then when you yield the sound is going to make you yield the moment you begin to yield and you yield to the place where i am then i will make you to be able to perceive the activities of the angels that work with you and through the whispers the signs that the angels will bring to you you will see and hear like a prophet most of us have not spent enough time with jesus to know your peculiar means of operation you know the bible says that are compare themselves with themselves they are not wise first of all know yourself know yourself in the unction know yourself in the anointing jesus have has a thing or two to teach you about what he deposited on your life you might not be a seer you may not be a prophet you might be an evangelist and there is a bowl of fire that god has placed upon you and when you pray for some hours for three hours you begin to sense the burning that burning will burn on you for long until jesus say okay do you know the meaning of that burning many of you here receive spiritual burnings and baptisms but you don't know the meaning until the unction opens to teach you you will never know what it means and that's why um it's not every kind of music uh, worship minister i can listen to because that's my entry gate into the prophetic if you bring someone that doesn't know jesus and he begins to minister i cannot enter again it closes all the doors we are trapped we are in chains we are locked up with fetters and i literally feel trapped when someone that doesn't know jesus is trying to sing about him <laughs> if you are fake i may not know but if you sing hey! <laughs> first Kings chapter 18 the prophet had given some prophetic decrees if you check it very carefully his utterance was for 29 seconds elijah the tishbite and he gave a decree for 29 seconds and locked the heavens over israel and put the key in his pocket and walked away the prophets of baal and ashtaroth tried to change his decree but it was impossible the king was humbled and had to subscribe to him and they met on the mountain top in the day that god had ordained to open the heavens and even though god had ordained to open the heavens the prophet will have to pray seven units of prayer in order for the hand of god to move over the cloud as he put in the first unit he asked his servant to go check the cloud because the impact of what he was doing on his knees was going to appear in the heavens the first time the second time the third time the fourth time the fifth time the sixth time and when he went again the seventh time the bible says he saw a cloud a cloud that was like the hand of a man before he saw the cloud he had already counseled the king he said go eat and drink saddle your donkey and begin to move because i hear the sound of an abundance of rain and when he had heard 
do you still remember the day of pentecost there was first a sound before there was a move before god does anything he makes a sound first the reason for which he makes a sound is so that the prophets can pick the frequency and know if there needs to be any arrangement or reorganization that needs to be done if there is an instruction that needs to come to bring people into alignment before god shows up they will have that interval and so he heard the sound of the abundance of rain and he told the king to ride ahead then he began to put in the units of prayer one unit two and when the seventh unit was put in he saw a cloud that was fashioned in the hand of a man let me read to you first Kings chapter 18 verse 45 and 46 and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel Ahab's chariot was was being pulled by six war horses war horses are four percent only four percent of the horse family so it's very difficult to find a war horse and the war horse is the only horse that is not afraid of fire he had six of them strapped to his chariot and they were on top speed heading for Jezreel 46 and the hand of the Lord this is a mantle he came on Elijah and he guided his loins and what happened and ran before the entrance <laughs> before the chariots <laughs> he got to Jezreel before the one that was using four war horses to pull his chariot it was not this it was only once in the ministry of Elijah that he had this experience so mantles are not yours they are spiritual garments soaked with grace that God borrows you once in a while the one that may the Lord give you understanding. the one that is consistent with your calling and consistent with your ministry is the anointing that one is always available it's based on covenant the covenant that God has with you so if you go and pray and say Lord the anointing will come because your covenant with the Lord is what occasions the anointing but the mantle is the Lord so when he decides he said I need Pastor Dame to disappear from here and appear in Tamale then he gives you the mantle that can do that he borrows you and so that weight of grace comes upon you that can accomplish something that is not is 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 sovereign listen to me god guarantees that you walk in the supernatural but the spectacular will happen sparingly you don't build your life based on the spectacular but you build your life based on the supernatural so the operation of mantles are supernatural they are not within the scope of what you can fit you now lock yourself up in the room and say if god doesn't transport you to tamale you will not go you will be you'll be there when drive fasting because it's not within the scope of what you can manage by faith oh my god okay since you're not here since you're not since. are you with me whereas you can pray and say god anoint me but there's no prayer point that gives you the ground to ask for a mantle a mantle is sovereign and if the lord knows you need it by an act of his own will he will make it happen so that you can perform an act that is supernatural that is beyond the scope of the expected range of that is spectacular that's beyond the scope of the expected range of the supernatural that god has given us as believers in view of our callings and our ministry the hand of the lord it came upon elijah who knows if the hand of the Lord will come upon you tonight but one thing is evident when the hand of the Lord came upon him he gave him speed and someone that had established a lead established an advancement for many years and then something comes upon you and he gives you 
speed. There are some things that God can't do through your life because of your level. Even though God is omnipotent, very powerful, but He's not so powerful with you. So there are some things in God that you will need to look for a man that has stature. It is Him that God is willing to do such things through. Not because those things are not available, but He can't do it through you because of your level. Are you still there? Okay, let's do Acts chapter 3 verse 6, then I'll shut down. Then you can go study the other matters. Acts 3, 6, quickly. Then Peter said, Pete, silver and gold, I have none. But such as I have, I give thee. Such as I have. That was the token of his stature. Stature is the position of favor that we have before God because we have yielded to his disciplines. By the time you begin to accept the authority of God over your life and you subject yourself to his disciplines, then there are things that he can trust you with in the kingdom. Those things are available, but they are not commonplace. They are only set up for people that are willing to accept the disciplines of God. He says, so just I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk he was making demand on something that he had with jesus my question to you today is what do you have with jesus do you have a secret with jesus a secret that you can make demands on in the public and jesus will back you up he had something and just to clear your doubts he was that thing was still with him even though naira and kobo see this and what? Persuas. He was lacking in Persuas. But that thing was still there. But may, may you not lack CDs. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. But I'm just showing you that he had a challenge in the natural. But it didn't affect what he had in custody in the supernatural. And he made a demand on it. Such as I have. So there are things you have from the Lord. I show you I have a few I have a few of those things such as I have <laughs> I give you in the name of Jesus do you know that this guy this guy this guy didn't say the guy said first he said look on us I know you are looking to heaven stop look on us silver and gold we do not have but there is something we have such as we have with God we give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. I don't have time to take you to the keys of heaven. He said, Thou, Simon Bar Jonah, you shall be called Kepha. And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I give unto you the keys. Of the kingdom of heaven so they are keys i give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you bind on earth it shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth it shall be those are kingdom things may you be found worthy to be brought into custody of of deep kingdom there are dimensions of kingdom things you can receive as inheritance and it begins to produce money. The things people struggle to get will, will be looking for you. I, I'll show you. They'll be looking for you. You see, when you visit the priest in Nogopo and you tell him you want money, he won't send you to University of Ghana to economics department. He will ask you to go and bring your daughter. How is your daughter connected to money? Oh. There are spiritual resources that can be made available and the things that you are looking for will begin to look for you now, he hear me prosperity is not something that is lost maybe you are trying to find it it's not lost come back home he says seek ye first the kingdom of god and this righteousness and the things that the gentiles seek will navigate in your direction if you are still with me say amen <laughs> tonight you will be clothed the hand of the Lord will come upon you. 
and you will be changed into another man oh god of mercy god of mercy the hand of the lord will come upon you and you will be changed into another man you know like i said as i round up the holy ghost came the unction was activated it means god wanted to give me more knowledge you need spiritual knowledge to get by if you are going to be a champion if you are going to be a territorial landlord with what it takes to administer change in the territory because it's different it's a different thing for you to minister to people and it's a different thing for you to minister to territories to nations there is a capacity for that kind of delivery may you desire the big kingdom things in the name of jesus christ there is an anointing that equips you to set up kings whereas people are going to the polling post polling unit to cast their votes you can cry cry in a meeting where there are four people according to that which i have with jesus and the visions that i saw early this morning the issue of uh, who will rule this country has been decided in heaven you are still waiting to go to the <laughs> We seek kingdom men that have stature that god will give the grace to enter into the corridors where the issues that pertain to the destiny of nations are decided men like Melchiah that saw what took place in the throne room those ones are superior to prophets that profess on the streets a time will come when people that just have the gift of prophecy will not have access to the secret because the thing is not yet available in the spirit realm for them to pick then we'll know the people that have access to the throne room senators that are invited into the congregation of witness to see the things that god is doing and to know the things that god is administering from the heavens above peter was one of such men and even though the activities of pentecost were about to be mi misunderstood discredited they said they were drunk it took the minister of an interpreter a man that knew what had taken place in heaven to bring perspective he said the jesus that you killed right now in the heavens god has exalted him he has been coronated both lord and christ and the evidence of his status and stardom in the spirit is what you see and hear you will need a man that has a way to the throne room to bring perspective but that those are issues of stature have you found favor with god oh you want a car you want a message benz me i want favor with god concerning john the baptist it was said that he shall be great in the sight of god his stature was allocated to him even before he was born he has a destiny to be great in the sight of god that is his ordination from heaven and because of his destiny his tongue must not touch wine he must never be acquainted with strong drink because he will be a nazarite from his mother's womb <laughs> Uh, he had a message for the tax collectors he had a message for the priests he had a message for the king in every aspect of society he had a witness for them from the rivers of jordan you don't know what happened his father is a priest is that also but in order for the word of the lord to come to him god had to bypass the very 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 rigid political structure very rigid religious structure let me show you in the book of Luke chapter 3 quickly. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. Let me read the scripture to you. Ah, where is my technical man? Let me look for it here. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea and Herod the Tetrarch of Galilee and his brother Philip the Tetrarch of Eturia and of the region of Trachonitis and Licinius the Tetrarch of Abilene. Next verse. That's the political structure. This is the spiritual structure. Annas and Caiaphas being high priests because Annas was the descendant of Aaron. Caiaphas was the political high priest that was elected by Caesar. So they, they were managing two of them. Annas and Caiaphas. This was the political structure that was in place 
and the religious structure that was in place when God bypassed the political and the religious structure for his world to go to John the Baptist where in the in the wilderness when God finds a man that he bequeaths to him stature he can bypass heavy